what up? It's Cash K. What's up? We're in Texas, Louisiana, boy, all day. Eating season records in this thing, you hear me? Oh, really? What first got you into the music game? That's tricky right there. Um, and I, that's the same, same story, bro. Like, I never wanted to rap. Uh, more of the behind the scenes guy, but um, a couple of homies, like, as a writer, I've always been a writer. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't like plays, like scripts, you know what I'm saying? Things like that. So, transfer that into a melody. Right. And ended up writing music. And the homies always push me, like, yo, keep going. Like, you know, yeah, you got it, bro. So, that's how I kind of got into it. Uh, I, uh, I graduated in the recession, you know what I'm saying, from college. <laughs> Like jobless, you feel me? Uh, two degrees, no job. Right. So uh, definitely fell into it, man. Started hustling, started grinding, man. Um, ended up doing shows state to state before I even dropped the video. And it was a blessing to me, you know. Right. You say uh, you was writing, like you do skits and plays with your music. Do you uh, is your music more melodic, or do you speak and paint a picture for the people? With you? I let the beat find me, um, and I mean, I, I, that's a, actually a great question, but um, I let the beat draw me in, like the, the beat pulls me into the, like, my hook pulls me into my verse. Right. Because I could hear, like, I could hear a song and it could be, like, on some trap shit. I could hear a song and I'd be like, yo, I feel like vibing and grooving on it. Right. So it's, um, it all depends, like, I get really emotional with my music, right. and I'm not afraid to say that. Like I pour a lot of like my like my heart and my like how my how my blood flow into my music, right. and so it, I can come up with any type of melody, bro. So and just to sound like I'm an emotional musician. Right. So what's the creative process like? Do you have to be by yourself? Do you like you know get feedback from your homies as, as you write? Oh uh, shit, man! If I got feedback from people as I write. People will be like, man, don't put that shit out there. <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that's just my like personal opinion. Um, my my process of coming up with like a song or or my creative like antics, just I put my I could I'm a, I could put my mind in a box, and I'm saying like I could be here with you. We could be shooting a video, doing this, and I could literally be looking over that fence, over that house, over. Thinking about, you know what I'm saying, my it's next always, it's always yeah, like, bro, I wake up, like, sometimes, like, you can ask Shouty, bro, like, I would pace in the room back and forth for an hour. Right. And shit, nigga, I will make that big. You right. feel me? Like, I just pace back and forth. Like, I won't sit down because that's, like, my mind working, like, and it's scary sometimes because it's like, what am I doing? What am I coming up with? Like, what's going on? And I get a sense of, like, um, musicianal anxiety. I don't even know if that's the motherfucking terminology. Right, right. <laughs> but that's that's why I get with my shit, bro. Right, right. Man, for real. Right. Tell me about the project you got out right now. A uh, guy coming out. Um, right now, bro, is uh, just my mixtape. My first project it actually took me fucking five years to drop it. A mixtape. What's the name of it? Page one. Page one. It's just the page. It's um page one. I'm like my my footprint. You know what I'm saying? Where I'm coming from, like in the music game and stuff like that. Um, and excuse to all my fans, like I know, like it's been supposed to drop this shit like in 2014, bro. But I done been like fucked over by so many people. Right. Uh, people ain't keeping their word as far as like what they gonna do with my money when I make my investments. And shit, it just took me six years to fucking release it. So it is what it is. But it's out now. And motherfuckers is really like hooking on it though, and I appreciate that shit. Right. On your mixtape, uh, is that all you or do you have, uh, you collab with some people on your mixtape? Um, yeah, I got uh, the homie uh, Kirk, uh, Kirk Big Fooly from Florida. I uh, got the homie Hall from uh, Sunnyside. Um, that's really about, oh, the homie Nino C. And let me tell you about this track right here where I got a, this nigga right here sent me a feature nine years ago. 
and I ain't heard from this nigga since. That shit going on my mixtape, man. I don't give a fuck. Nigga no seat. Nigga no seat, bro. Look, you see that nigga in the street telling that nigga, hey, bro, you got a, a track out here on the mixtape. But um, I had shout outs from uh, Florida, um, shout outs from the UK on there, shout out um, from Sierra Leone, South Africa, um, niggas from uh, fucking Kingston, Jamaica, one nigga on the hills from Jamaica, niggas from Baton Rouge, like bro, niggas really showing love on their project, feel me? Is there anyone uh, you would like to work with? Uh, like mainstream or anybody? Give me a mainstream artist, then give me an underground artist. Oh, uh, mainstream foster fuck with like anybody, bro. I mean, as weird as this nigga, I say this shit every in the room. I'm gonna fuck with CeeLo, bro. Who that? CeeLo Green. CeeLo, tell me why. Bro, this nigga is the weirdest, most unorthodox, what the fuck ass nigga you've ever like seen. And. Um, I seen him actually in person on a business one time, but I ain't gonna be like, oh my God, CeeLo. But I seen him in, bro, but then you look at him and then see the music he produced, you be like, that shit don't match. Right. You right. feel me? And his shit is like nice quality, he can sing, he can flow, give you a nice little melody, bro. His creativity, bro, is what I think I'd be drawn to the most, bro. Like, that's definitely. Um, I ain't gonna say underground. But shit, nigga, I'm getting like if I get a like a deal, deal, bitch, I'm putting Jay Dog on that. Jay Dog, man, for real. <laughs> like that's for my real. favorite. No, like that's my favorite. Like Ace Time Hard. Like, right. like fucking Paul Wall Slim. Like y'all niggas is like on my A list, but Jay Dog like my go-to, bro. On the bad day. Young Hog, man. No, bro. Uh, if you have a message you can give to all the up and coming artists that's just not starting, like if they were starting right today. What message would you give them? Don't sign unless you have the tools to sign. Mm -hmm. When I say the tools, the right people around you, uh, the right management, the right uh, legal motherfuckers, that type of shit right there because, and that's that's kind of why like I swayed away from like a deal I had on the table one time, like a legit deal. I didn't have the right tools like to move forward. Right. And I probably would have ended up being one of these niggas that got killed out here or ended up killing somebody. Right. Because you ain't about to fuck over me. Right. And you know what I'm saying, you ain't about to play me either. Just because I come to the city and you feel like you want to, uh, what's the word? Extort niggas and all right. that type of shit, bro. Nah. So if you ain't got the tools, goes back to what I was saying about security, mm -hmm. everything, like, Nigga, if you got to take your parents and shit on the road with you, like that type of shit. If you ain't got the right shit in place to get signed, don't fucking sign no deal, bro. Right. Don't put your life in jeopardy like that. The money is beautiful, yeah, the hundreds look nice, all of that, but no, bro. Fuck that shit. Okay, now tell me what's the best advice that a person have gave you that you still carry to this day in the, while you're on your journey? Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't give up because um, so if you could change anything about the industry, you know what I'm saying, with the wave of your of your of your cigar, man, if you could change anything about the industry, what would it be? Um, if I could change anything about the industry, mm -hmm. um you Motherfuckers be having like, see, I'm a criminal justice major. That's what I got my degree in. So everything for me comes from a Talk realistic, to realistic standpoint. Uh, really. Shit from the legal standpoint. Uh, really. So if I was to change anything about the, the industry, like you a motherfucker would have to employ verifiable credentials. Right. Like, yo, I'm gonna sign you, I'm gonna I'm about to be your manager, or oh, what's up, what's up. Nigga, you better you gotta come with something. Somebody gotta sign off on you. Somebody gotta come with reference. Right. Niggas out here jumping in deals and relationships without reference. Mm -hmm. Others, mm -hmm. you feel me? And and me and your defense, me and you ain't no shit about each other. Right. But we still did this. Now let's just say hypothetically, like me and you sign a media deal, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. shit goes sour. And then I'm pumping gas, and the nigga be like, damn, man, ain't nobody in your car, boy, bro, you tripping. That nigga done fucked over. Right, you feel me? Right, right. It's just nigga like, like that shit should be like legally in black and white references. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's what I really would change about the rap game right. because 
there were these relationships were getting niggas killed. All right. Then sometimes in the black and white they hide everything up in there with the big words. Yeah, but fuck research. That goes back to the key word what I see in research though. You gotta have a knowledge sure. of what you getting into. For sure. Having the right tools around you. If and even if you can't read, you got your partner and you be like, hold on, hold on, let me see that shit. I don't know what none of this contract means, but I know what that word means. Right. No, something fucked up. Right. You feel right. me? Right. Like it's like having the right motherfucker. Trigger word. words. It's yeah, something like, that you know some, have like, somebody for real, bro. Like, like niggas, like I realize a lot of niggas be like, when they homie get out, get out the pen, they take their homie with them on tour. Right. And that one homie will save their life. Right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like you got that tool around you. Right. You feel me? Right. Like, or you got that cold ass lawyer, boosted. Gotta have that. Nigga, this nigga was on death row. Yeah. You feel me? Right. So he had that tool. You know what I'm saying? And then like. It's just it's shout out to my friend brother, he one of his lawyers, you know what I'm saying? Right. But he had that one tool around him. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So that's what I would change about the game, bro. Right. Let me back up again. Let's get back on that project you got. The mixtape. What's your favorite song on that? I know you got a favorite, man. It's what you just you know what I'm saying? The favorite song on my project is It's Okay. Tell me why. Um, because it, like, I paint a picture about how I feel like the night or the day I wake up, like, of a show. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, how, like, my, how I be feeling, like, my adrenaline be rushing, how, like, how I be going. Like, it go, uh, um, you ever fall asleep with your adrenaline rushing? You know what I'm saying? Like that, mm -hmm. like, that's how, I like, I start off like, you really can't sleep because you can feel your heart pumping, it's pumping like you hit the lotto, like you're about to be lucky. You can't right. sleep because you're smiling like the logo with Bucky's. Right. Like, I'm just being patient, I'm just waiting on my, like, that's how I be really, like, be feeling. That's how you feel. Like, in the morning, like, when I wake up, and, like, it'll be sometimes, like, and like my shit will switch. Like people will be like, man, how you feel? We got a show, blah, blah, blah. I be in my mind, I'm like, yo, I'm about to smash this bitch. Right. But I still had to keep that same demeanor, that same attitude. Like, right. I'm chill, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. Um, Hold that energy to the time. Exactly. I feel you, I feel you. Exactly, bro. So that's like, mm -hmm, it's one of my favorite tracks, bro. Right. Yeah, right. So, yeah. hey. Like, uh, uh, Tell the people what's next up for you, man. What you got next coming up? Shit. I know you're on your media run right now. Uh, shit, what's next up right now, bro? Shit, just, you know what I'm saying? Like, pushing, pushing the label, bro. Like, eating season records, bro. That's what it's all about, man. Shit, we got, like, junk food. We got them niggas popping right now, doing their thing. Um, and then, you know, like, they about to do both uh, out the group. You know, like a brother and sister duo, you right. feel me? So they about to do, they both independent solo project. Right. And we about to move that way. And like, we just, um, you know, moving forward, bro, shit. And things like that, like I say, bro, like we got other acts, you know, in the work. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just grinding, bro, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, you know what I'm saying, Cam. Cam, she about to get her shit together. We on the way with that project, but that's all moving forward, all in the future, you know, later on down the line, you feel right. And like, I'm really about to put a lot of like, finances and energy into like the label. Mm -hmm. Especially like, you know, with the babies, cause you know, they're the future of the label and whatnot. So everything independent, self-finance. Like, nigga, you see where you at? Grind, I feel you. <laughs> you see where you at, bro. I wanna hear you say it, man. Me? I mean, mean more all, coming from you. I mean, all, all it is, bro, like we grinding like from, from the top, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, your know, first lady, like, we all, like, putting our money into, like, what we see and what we do as far as, like, being a visionary, bro. And, I mean, and I mean, we have our good days and our bad days. Don't get me wrong, you feel me? But everything is on the up, bro. And, like, we, we see a vision. Like, we got different views, you know what I'm saying, from a business standpoint. But, like, for the most part, like, the outcome will be great, bro. And right. shit, each season, go, we're going to get there. Right. Niggas will have to fuck with us. I agree. I agree. So uh, on the junk food, man, tell me about that. You say you got your people, man. Yeah, oh, most definitely, man. Like I say, bro, like 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 brother sister duo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I see the potential in them. You know what I'm saying? Like and they, 
they got that name because you know they oh, eat up all the motherfucking shit mm -hmm. everywhere fucking go, shit like that. They be doing their thing, but uh, from a talent standpoint, from a delivery standpoint, it wasn't an easy process. Right. The studio session, it wasn't all fucking rice and gravy the first right. time. You feel me? But the talent, the investment, and the knowledge of the, that they have now, and they can move, get, take that, right, and push forward. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then, like I said, we got other acts coming up. Mm -hmm. They'll be able to share that knowledge and you know share that experience with them. You right. feel me? So it's. It's a growing process, bro, and yeah, like, of course, everybody want to sign that big deal tomorrow, next month, next year, like, right. but we've been patient with this shit, bro, because, I mean, the music shit ain't going nowhere from, you know, what we see, but, like, we go grind, bro, we get it, oh, and, like, and, like, shit, like, even if I gotta get out there and do a hundred more shows, you know what I'm saying? Eating season gonna be on top, bro, oh, really? like, 100. So, shout out to the Chuckers dude, Pop Up TV, bro. Like, y'all didn't have to do this shit. Oh, uh, man, bro. Big shout out to this platform. Like, man, it's lovely and beautiful, bro. Like, that's my number one shout out. Like, like salute, bro. That's like, what's up. G shit. Uh, eating season records, junk food. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cam, you know what I'm saying? Like, First Lady, like, we all in this thing together. We all doing our thing, bro. Oh, uh, man. OG Wicked Cricket, God bless the dead. Like, he the reason, like, he. 30, 40% of the reason why I'm still in it. Mm -hmm. Like, and I, mean, I think about homie every day. Like, that's G shit. Uh, you know, the shout out to everybody, like, grinding my fans, man. Like, I need y'all. I wouldn't be shit without y'all. Like, shout out with y'all, too. You feel me? Y'all oh, yeah. can hit me up, Cassius Kendrell on IG and Twitter. C A S S I U S K E N D R E L. C A S S I U S K E N-D-R-E-L on all platforms, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, Dream on fucking Pandora, you know what I'm saying, doing our thing, Jump Food, follow us all on all platforms, you feel me? Straight up, Pop Up TV, check us through, we out this bitch. Oh, really?